Good evening and welcome back. And we have more big games to come tonight. And as usual, if there's anybody in the chat there, can you just let me know how the screen is looking? Is it OK? Are the pictures OK? And can you hear me? And uh, I'll be happy to carry on once I get that feedback. I still am able at the moment to be uploading in 1080p. So um, we'll make the most of this while we have the capability to do it. My connection seems excellent. If you could just let me know that everything is OK, I'll be extremely grateful. Thank you, Stephen. Good to see you again. Hey, Andy. Excellent. Thanks for letting me know. Good to see you again. We have still got big games to come. And we have Torino next, Maccabi Tel Aviv. I guess we should be winning that, really. And then Bologna, um, a game again we should be winning, possibly. Um, but this run that we're on has to come to an end at some point. Since we took over here, we've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games unbeaten. And at some point, this has to come to an end. And I'm wondering, is it tonight? We have strengthened the squad. It's not a great Juventus squad by any stretch. We have strengthened it. But in strengthening it, we brought in a central defender and he's got himself injured as soon as he arrived. He's still going to be out for another 12 days. So we're using and having sold a central defender, we're just using two pretty much first team defenders at the moment and a young kid to rotate. I, I've made a bid for someone um, while I was coming forward to the the day's action and I've made a bid for a fullback Alessandro Zanoli uh, pays 6.75 million he's um I've just only yesterday made the offer so we haven't negotiated a contract with him I believe he's asking for a lot of money and uh, he is decent and he's I need to strengthen at fullback before the game starts decimating me because I'm slightly short on the right hand side. So I guess looking at his mentals and physicals, he'll be a decent acquisition. He can tackle and he can mark. I think he'll be a decent acquisition. What we can't have him do is dribbling <laughs> because his dribbling skills are not very good. He's not very aggressive either. I prefer to have aggressive players in the squad, but I think he'll be OK for 6.75 mil. He'll do for now until we can really start to rebuild this Juventus team. And we're going to be playing away at Torino today. And I'm really not sure how to play against them. So I'm going to start positively. Um, I think they are second in the league at the moment. and uh, But I do believe we can beat them. So I think I'm going to start positively. I'm not going to counter press. I think that's not productive for this Juventus team at the moment. And we will play with a slightly higher tempo. Just to start, we'll, we can always make changes as we go through the game. The Torino derby, is it? Oh, Torino is where Juventus are, of course. So this is a very, very big game. And um, I think we should go to play the match now. Um, Igrashi, I actually think that's a good idea, but I'm not going to do it here because he'll alter my bench. <laughs> and... Uh, I, I'm going to take his advice as well to start balanced on the on the balance of things. It's probably a good idea with the away team. And we will see how the game pans out. I think it's probably a good call. He has he, we've we've just signed him and he hasn't played a lot of games. And so it's probably actually a very good call. So we'll go with that. Um so, I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure why he's showing up as no stars. Is that the right boy? <laughs> um, oh, he's a left back. It's the other side. I should have changed. Um, not that side. So, I will put Lanelli back here. 
and Igrashi for Cambiasso on the other side. I'll I'll get my head round this eventually as we go through this through the day, but we don't want me making any more mistakes like that. And uh, looking forward to his battle. He's concerned, Chiesa, but looking forward to his battle. So why is he concerned if he's looking forward to it? It <laughs> doesn't make any sense to me. And I have got the sound on because I was playing the other save earlier today. Which is going <laughs> unbelievably well. And... Um, and so let's take the sound off. And I think we are, I'm, I'm going to say that because everybody now is starting to talk about us. This team that was finished, it was in 15th in the Premier, in the Serie A. And now everybody's starting to sit up and take notice. But we remember, we've just turned on the computer again, reloaded the save. And whether or not... The game will, <laughs> will continue where it left off or whether the dice has been rolled again, I don't know. We do have time to make changes if I haven't got it right at the moment. But um, I think what I want to do... Yeah, they're already on close down less often. I think that's important. I mean, I do know Torino are a good team. They're like second in the league at the moment. And do it. their form is extremely good. So we have to be very careful. But I think that on balance, we've got enough about us to do some damage to them. To take the three points today. If we can get the three points today, then we're looking really good in terms of European qualification next year. And that'll be Champions League football is what they want here at Juventus and what we should be playing. And so Europa League, whilst that is nice for us, that's not what this this club needs. We need to be doing much better. And Luz is in and Luz has a chance and he scored and we are off again. <laughs> what a start that is. I thought for a minute the goalkeeper was going to save it. But we have started where we left off. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's This team just has taken to this 4-1-2-2-1 like a duck to order. And they are playing so well. Um, obviously, we still need to be very careful. We are up to six. We can't break into that, that top four at the moment. I'm concerned about this winger. He does seem to be getting the ball a lot. But Lanelli is a very good fullback and should be able to look after him too. As long as he doesn't go rushing into things, he should be able to look after him. And we do we just want to make sure that again they're down the left hand side. This is where they're looking dangerous. And I have he's I'm gonna put him on support. Just so that he's got a little bit more defensive responsibility. He can still go forward if he's a mind to, but be more defensively responsible at the beginning of this game until the game settles. I want to, I'm just concerned that I've seen this left wing being exploited quite a few times and they've stayed away from the right wing in essence. And uh, if we can beat the team in second in the league, we have already beaten Inter who at that time were top of the league. This will be a great result. Inter have dropped down the table now. They're not as good as they were. We seem to have sent Inter into a dreadful run of form after we beat them. So I think at the time we beat them, they were about five points clear at the top. And now they're like, I think they're in fourth, if I can, if I remember correctly. So I think we've sent them... No, they're still in second. They've gone back to second. I think I saw that they were in fourth, but they're in second. And now they've switched their attacking play. We've closed this area down. They've switched it over to the right. And I need to perhaps think about Igrashi, who is relatively new in the team. 
And was I more comfortable with them attacking down the left is the question. And I want to look at my trigger press, which is fine. We should be trigger pressing them in this area, which is... Uh, if we defend well now, then we can win this game. If we don't defend well, we're going to struggle. But at the moment, everything looks calm. Apart from me, I'm not very calm. <laughs> and uh, we are on the move again as Dusan is coming forward. Dusan is in inspired form at the moment. Um, whether he can keep that going, I don't know. But he's in very, very good form <laughs> at the moment. And he's scoring in in games at will so hopefully he will continue that and get another one today a one nil i will take at this point i'll even take a draw because oh, that's a poor pass who was that dreadful pass <laughs> take a draw because they are a very very good team and there's that's the benefit of having your full backs on support is they don't go missing when teams turn the ball over, they're not way up the pitch that they can't get back. So support, attack. Attack is useful when you need to get a goal, but support is just as good if you don't need to get a goal. And at the moment, we are winning the game, so we don't need to score. They need to come at us. And so I, I do like full-backs. I'm a big fan of full-backs rather than wing-backs. And we've got another chance, and it's in! <laughs> Goalkeepers missed it, and we are 2-0 up now. <laughs> what is that goalkeeper doing? Yes, he's holding his head in his hands, and so would I. But it's not my goalkeeper, so I'm not bothered. That was a dreadful piece of goalkeeping. It was right at him. And we're 2-0 up, and it's going on. This form continues. And let's... I mean, am I right about Torino? Are they second in the league? I thought they were second in the league. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they're second bottom, I don't know. <laughs> but we've kept them out. They gave us a few problems. I just want to have... Oh, too late. I want to have a look at that. Where are they in the table now? There have been some games played in the week and it is very, very tight at the top. There's not a lot of points between the top six now. And we have another chance. And it's headed clear. And we are definitely the better side at the moment. We are definitely deservedly ahead. And we just need to keep doing what we're doing at the moment. And if we can get another one and put them away, then, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I, do, I really just don't believe it, Andy. At some point, like I said in the, the title, it's got to go wrong at some point. No one can keep this going all the time. There's no manager good enough to keep this going all the time. And it has to go wrong at some point. And... If you've got the best team in the world, you could probably do this. But if it's not a great team, which Juventus are not a great team at the moment by a long shot, then at some point it's got to go wrong. Nobody's good enough to keep getting results with a team that eventually they have to fail. But we are just totally in form at the moment and nobody can touch us we will i suppose we will have so much for the derby eh? and there it is dusan again and it's three nil <laughs> and at some point like i'm still struggling to believe this the tactic they've taken to it and we've made some good decisions we We've won games we should have lost. And um, morale is good. And morale, of course, is everything. So had we not won those games we should have lost a while back, then perhaps it would be a different story. Um, but at the moment, defensively, we look absolutely superb. And a commentator's curse here, for sure. We won't be defensively solid anymore. And they will come back into it. But... At the moment, we just look unbeatable. 
we are just taking anybody on. And uh, we just caught the last second of that highlight. I have no idea what happened, but I've got Rabio down injured. And I'm looking at his um, health. He doesn't seem to be... Uh, he's acting a little bit. Oh, he has gone down. Uh, maybe he needs to come off. <laughs> As we're thinking, he's doing a Laurence Olivier job there. <laughs> but he has gone down a little bit. I don't think he's going to be fit enough to continue. But what a player to have coming off the bench, eh? Moretti. <laughs> and uh, couldn't ask for a better player. Joe Luce is having a great game. Um, as he's playing out of his skin at the moment and here he is again go on son go on hit it unlucky unlucky and we nearly made it for uh title charge andy i i i'm not thinking title charge at the moment i'm thinking let's get top four that's really my ambition let's get top four let's get into the champions league and that will be a really good job done. And we've got the defence sorted out. The trigger press is working brilliantly. We're not giving them any time. He tried to turn there. And uh, he had the ball taken off his toe. And they're not passing it quick enough. Their tempo is, is not quick enough to move the ball on before we're pressing them at the back. And that's a good sign. And uh, we are... Pressing them into making mistakes. Trigger pressing them into making mistakes. Moretti's on the ball. Come on, son. <laughs> and we are breaking forward again. But unfortunately comes to nothing. I don't know um, what is going on here. This is supposed to be a local derby. Torino really haven't got off the bus. <laughs> They've, they were either very nervous about it. And Luss is away again. Good chance. And Gluck is in again and it's 4-0. But he's been given offside. This time it's going to be offside. I thought it was going to be 4-0. But it's offside. I, I, I don't know. Immediately he lifted his flag. I think those are going to be disallowed. It is disallowed. And if you see the linesman immediately lift his flag, it's usually disallowed. But at half-time... Would you take a 3-0? I certainly would in the derby. And um, it's important to stay focused, boys. And um, you've defended well. I'm happy. The midfield, I'm very happy with your playmaking. But it's very important that you stay focused. And we'll get on with the second half. There's not much more to say to them than that. I'll be very surprised if Torino come back and score three now. The way we are defending, they could get one, maybe even two. For a team that is in form, they don't look very much in form to me. And again, we've won the ball. Where The trigger press is so effective at the moment. But we're on them as soon as anybody's got their back to goal. We're on them and taking the ball off them so having that much higher trigger press is a good thing at the moment but they are they are obviously going to mount some attacks hi david oh absolutely um I, when i'm play um there was a time when I was playing in key highlights, David, that I was not happy. I just didn't feel I had any control. And I felt if I go to comprehensive, I'm going to lose some viewers. Um, and I just thought, fine. Um, but now that I'm in comprehensive, I feel um, much more in control of the game. I can make decisions. I can see what's happening. And that's why we're on this run. Because you can change the script in this game. And we've won games that we shouldn't really have won. Chiesa is now injured as well. We're not having a good time. This is not good. So left winger now. Molero. And we'll move Glock. We'll switch him over with Glock. 
We are not having a good time now. And do I need to make another change? Because I've used two, two timeouts, as it were. I don't want to make another change at this point. So I'll just have to remember to do three. I will I'll go to my assistant and ask him to change his mind. But two injuries in the game. The game's still doing what it can to cause me headaches <laughs> and to make my life a misery. But it's having problems with the way we're playing. So the only other thing it can do is injure all my players. But we can live with that. We've still got a team. <laughs> we'll live with that. So I, Lus is looking tired, but I don't think I want to take him off at all. And we're in again, and it's 4-0 now. <laughs> this team... <laughs> Have you always been a soccer fan? Um, yeah, pretty much. I was playing soccer when I was eight years old um, for my primary school team. I then, I then played soccer right up until um, university, and I switched codes then. I started playing rugby. Um, I thought I was much better at rugby than I was <laughs> at soccer. I still played soccer, but I was more rugby and cricket in those days, university days. Then I got seriously injured playing rugby, kind of stopped any thoughts that I had. I did when I was younger. I had trials um, for um, for teams, but I was never going to make it. I was just too small, I think. Um, had I been taller, <clears throat> then I might have had a chance. Remember O'Brien Flynn, the tiniest boy ever to play in the Premier League? I was about his size. <laughs> and, uh, not quite as chunky. But... Um, yeah, um, I was. I actually still played amateur football, and in Indonesia, when I was living in Indonesia, I played futsal right up to fifty-five years old. When I decided to call it quits at fifty-five, because I just wasn't able to do it anymore. Um, and they've got one back, but uh, are we going to be too worried about that? I don't think so. Um, I do want to tell my defence, though, that uh, they need to focus. So I'm going to shout at them and say focus. Smaller than Dennis Wise, possibly. Brian Flynn was the smallest player ever to play. Burnley, he used to play for. And he was tiny. I think he was about 5'5". Five, five. Um, I wasn't quite as small as him. I was 5'7". I'm actually only 5'6 now. I've lost a centimetre as I've got older, which is quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I was. I had a low centre of gravity and I was fast. That was what... Um, it was awesome, David. It was. I was 11 years in Indonesia. I was four years then in Vietnam. I, those were the best years of my life. I think I need to make some changes now. Let's just uh, quieten this game down a bit. Let's get some fresh legs in. I want to possibly bring fresh legs in in midfield. I've already brought Moretti on. Um, Zalazar can come on and play in midfield. He's a new signing as well, isn't he, Zalazar? <laughs> uh, so I have three subs to make now. I can't make any more after this. And then um, maybe one of my central defenders needs a rest. Now nah, they're fine. Um, because obviously struggling for central defenders. And Dusan now. He can stay on and run around up top. Although he is looking a bit. Zhao Luz has done his stuff for me now. McKinney can come on on the wing. And I think that will do. I don't think I want to alter the way we're playing at the moment. If they get another one, I'll probably close the shop up. But they haven't looked that threatening. I, I am noticing, just if we bring that up again, I'm noticing that my attacking mid is right up the bum of my striker. So I want to try and sort that out a little bit. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there, but I'll have a little think. 
in the next couple of minutes about what to do about that because he's very, very close to him. They're right next to each other and there needs to be a bit of space between them. But it hasn't damaged us in any way. Best friends, possibly. Maybe they share a room when we're on tour. <laughs> Maybe they just like holding hands. I don't know. But we need to sort that out. Not on the pitch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. But they are very, very close to each other. And I'm just thinking, it's going to need a role change, but whose role do I change? And let's get another one. Let's make it five. Come on. I'm not happy with four. Let's make it five. Lovely pass. Oh, unlucky. So let's just think about that. I've got Dusan playing. Ah, that's why. He's playing as a deep line forward. So I'm going to play him as a pressing forward. And we'll put him on attack. Because that's why they're so close together. And you can see, because he's coming back, you can see that that's why they're so close together. Not a big deal. It hasn't hurt us. In fact, it probably benefited us early on. But in terms of pitch covering, I need to... Coverage, I need to separate them a little bit. And they are coming back into the game. So it might be time now to shut the shop down a little bit. So let's go and do that. Let's come off the tempo. Let's time waste a little bit. And let's slow the pace down a little bit. And we won't counter. I don't really think I need to do much more. Just slow everything down. Take your time, boys. Take your time. They've only got 10 minutes to try and get four goals to win this. They're not going to do that. Even FM doesn't do that to you, does it? <laughs> I don't know. But they are in again. <laughs> they almost scored. I need to shout at them and I need to demand more. They think they can take the last 20 minutes off. That's not acceptable. <laughs> so, what is that? I would love it if you played a mid-90s version of this. I think you can get retro databases and i have seen other people commenting would you do a consider doing a retro i might download one of the databases and have a look at it to see how it functions because i'm not sure how the transfer stuff would work out i'm not really sure how that will work out but i might do that and have a look at it why people want to play retro though why what's this thing with playing retro at the moment and they are coming at us now um they are desperately trying to get back into the game so i'm now going to close the game down because i'm just going to say to them no you don't <laughs> and we're going to go into a little bit of a mid block now get more bodies behind the ball and make sure they don't cause us any problems i can see that Illich is a little bit of a menace lately so we'll deal with him as well um he's tired but he's probably a very good passer of the ball so i'll ask one of the boys to tight mark him just to make sure he doesn't become even more of a menace But it, it's interesting that uh, since I moved the striker, we've not been as potent. Um, so maybe having them close together is actually working in our favour. Um, although we have got some tired bodies on the pitch now, so it's probably not surprising that we're not dominating the game anymore. But it's another victory in the bag. And uh, this remarkable run just keeps going and going. And, uh, oh, Dusan's injured now. I can't believe I've had three injuries in this game. Three injuries. So we've got to take him off. And we'll just go with what, what we're doing. <laughs> So we got to figure out how 
bad are these injuries now? It's really striking at me now. The game is getting its getting its pants in a, on a right old twist here. It's not happy. It's not happy with how how well we've done. Is that full time? How bad are these injuries? It's a good victory. I have to tell him it's an absolutely exceptional victory. Yeah, I think um, the FM gods are saying enough. Which is why, like, um, well, there's going to be three here, isn't there? So let's go through these. Pirola, keen to discuss personal matters. Why you left him out of the view? Oh, God. Well, we'll put that right next time. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're uh, for the next bit. I think he should actually Parola should actually be in in the team. Um Yeah, let's tell him. I mean, I have to have three centre backs, <laughs> and um, we have to tell him. Rabio's out for four to seven days, three to five weeks. Dusan, that is a big problem. And Chiesa, three to five weeks. So it's not leaving me with much of a team <laughs> at the moment. And uh, Dusan set for a goal bonus already. Ten league goals. I did promise him that, yeah, because I thought if he scores ten, we'll we'll do okay. Luz has had a great game. So that is now making our life extremely difficult. Losing three key players in one game. That is just shocking. And we will rest them. I'm going to have to rest all these players now. Anybody who plays a full game can be assos, okay. Gluck needs a rest. Igarashi, Miretti. So I'm going to have to play some young boys over the next few games. And uh, this is going to take some managing, isn't it? I guess it's, te it's testing me. How are you going to manage this? Um... But we've got to do something. And I'm wondering how we are going to fix that. But that is our 12th game now, unbeaten. We came in here, we've gone 12 games unbeaten and won nine of them. And we still can't climb up the league. We're still eight points behind the leaders, even though we've won everything. We still can't climb up the league. Transfer deadlines in one week. <clears throat> we do have a full back who's coming in, hopefully. I don't think there's anybody else coming in, is there? We have these boys. We have one of the. I showed you this before. He joins on 2032. He's going to join in four years' time. What kind of nonsense did the manager before me do there? <laughs> and uh, I'm like struggling to work. What did he do there? <laughs> oh, boy. Hi, Potato. How are you doing? Uh, interested in Thomas Barbie. I haven't got any money now. And uh, he wanted such a ridiculous amount of money. Um, I went for somebody else. I'd like to get my centre back back. He's still going to be out for another week or so, though. But in terms of injuries, now let's—I mean, let's hope this is the worst <coughs> injury crisis that we're going to have. For the group phase of the, well, I need to put Pirola in now, don't I? 
So we'll try just putting Pirola in. Where is he? Why is that not? Ah. So Pirola, we can't put anybody in unless I take someone out. Rizzo is a goalkeeper and he's a goalkeeper. I have to have three goalkeepers, don't I? Oh, minimum of two goalkeepers. So we can put Pirola in there. I've obviously got to think about foreign players, but we're okay at the moment. So where's Pirola? Let's put Pirola in. <coughs> we're still okay. Minimum of two goalkeepers. I should have two goalkeepers. Ah, okay, wait a minute. And then I want Lanelli in. He's my best fullback. Igrashi. Who is this geezer? I don't think we need him in there. Where's my other goalkeeper then? He's like... This is nuts, because I still don't have two, two goalkeepers. Minimum two, I've got one. <laughs> and it's got a green tick. So Lanelli can come in now. But then the goalkeeper, Hassa. Hassa does not need to be in the European squad. And Lanelli can come in now. Now, he's already been put in. What is happening there? So now we'll put Rizzo as the goalkeeper. There's a lot of these players shouldn't be in there. Capalat doesn't need to be in there. Mikel, Malero, Dusan, Hoysa, Eru, Tabasco sauce. Ayala needs, needs to be in there. He's my other centre-back. This is nonsense. So I need to take one other player out. Zalazar needs to be in there. Rabio, Molero. Palacios can come out. And... He can come in. Now we're all set. Right. That's got that sorted. Pirello will be happy. Everybody be happy. Willing to discuss a deal for Zanoli. Who is Zanoli? Did I actually make a bid for him? But I've, I'm waiting on this. <clears throat> oh, okay. They, they want to negotiate it further, do they? Not happy with the 6.5. <sighs> well, let's, let's drop this down a little bit. Let's give them a little bit more cash. <laughs> So hopefully now that can go through. Oh, God. Transfer story leaked. Um, he's going to want a lot of money now, isn't he? So how much money have I got? Plenty. 200,000. But I don't want to give him that. <laughs> That's all I could, God. Uh, regular starter. Can we bring him down a little bit? Now nah, my assistant says don't do it. 105k. Is he worth that? Let's try and bump him down a bit. And we'll bump up his clean sheet bonus. Whoops. Give him 16. Let's try that. He's gone for it. Good, <laughs> good negotiating. So let's just... Oh, God, we've got Luz out now. Oh, my good God. And Capitano is out as well. Six to seven weeks. The game's throwing its toys out the pram. <laughs> Complaint. Complaint. Good Lord. 
and we have to win this European game. I think we have to win it. Let's we see where we are. It's the last game, isn't it? If we lose, we'll, no, we'll, we'll still qualify. But if we win, it's still possible we can finish in the top eight. I'm not sure about Rizzo going in goal. Um, maybe he's performed especially well in training. I'm not really... <laughs> Look at all these things. <laughs> but I think we'll stick with High and Hal. The others, probably I'm going to agree with. Not agreeing with that, Danilo. Igrashi, we'll give him another shot. Actually, no, I'm going to play Danilo on the left. He's done particularly well. Danilo for... He's actually gone up half a star. So he has performed quite well. You can see his rating is 7.2. Let's get rid of these. Bye-bye for a little while. He's unregistered now. Let's remove him and try and rebuild this. Well, we'll have to play. Cambiasso, interestingly, can play here. So, there you go, midfield, right and left. So, McKinney can come in. I need a, a big game from McKinney. And that's filled one of the spots. Rabio. Well, we have Moretti, of course. Moretti can come in for Rabio. He'll probably be fit enough to sit on the bench. Perhaps not. <coughs> but I don't really have anybody else who can sit on the bench and do that job. No, I don't really have. I'm still short of a mid player or two, perhaps a midfielder. And left winger. Who was my striker before? <laughs> Dusan came in. Who was I playing as a striker before? I can't remember who the striker was before. We didn't sell him. Rabio Zalazar probably could do with giving Zalazar a game, resting. Oh, Locatelli. We, we can play Locatelli. Um, who was my striker before? I could play... I'm going to have to play a young boy up there. Or I could play Gluck as the striker. Ben Sagir can come in. Where did Gluck go? He can play up top as my striker. Chiesa's the one who's injured. And Molero can play on the wing. It's kind of putting a team together. And then we'll just fill up the bench with who's ever left. And Mikel. And that's it. I mean, that those four injuries, Chiesa, Pirola, Dusan and Jaulas, they are my four key players. The best players that I have in the team. <laughs> that is so, like, crazy. <laughs> but it is what it is. We can still win this. They're in 31st. We can still win this game. So I, I want this transfer to go through quickly if we could. If it's possible. He's not going to do that though, is he? Because I want to look at bringing in perhaps a striker. I don't know where my other striker's gone. Can you remember who I was playing as a striker at the beginning? Who played striker here? Chiesa. Ah, okay. I didn't really have a striker, did I? And then, who played here against Palmer? 
looks like Chiesa again. So it's playing Chiesa as the... Oh, no, Dusan had come in by then. Oh, this is going to be tough. We might have to work quite hard here. But how are they doing for fitness, those boys? They're pretty fit. Rabio, two days. He can sit on the bench. Balance to attacking. No, we'll we'll split the difference and we'll go positive. I think we could win this game, but I don't want to go absolutely nuts here. Do I want him playing as a deep line forward on support? He can do it. We'll try that. We'll try it. I think we'll go with that. And uh, let's see. I think we're going to qualify for the next round. Del Piero. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great? McKinney feels unsuited to the role he's being asked to play. Okay, we'll have a look at that. We, we'll listen to the players and we'll have a look at that. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And we'll go to my assistant again. We're not going to forget that because he changes his mind. And McKinney doesn't like the role he's being asked to play. And actually, I have changed his role from a winger, haven't I? He tended to get isolated out here. So I think we'll play... We'll play him as a wide midfielder on support. And then what we can do... Is tell him to dribble less and shoot less often, I think. Yeah, we'll just play him as a. We don't need to do anything else. What's his crossing like? Mm, let's say cross less often. And then he can just sit here now. And maybe cut inside with the ball. Yeah. So you can just play around here. Not in this save. I've been offered international jobs in other saves. But not in this one, Andy. Would you take an international job as well if you were offered one? Now, I don't want to say that. Um, on the, a win on this could qualify for the round of 16. But I don't expect to win. Um, we're doing well. We're on a good run. It's a match we should be winning. It's important to make use. Of, yeah, it's important to make use of our home advantage. I don't want to put any pressure on them, so we'll just quietly. Possibly, I I don't know. Um. It might it might add an extra dimension to the game. It would be certainly a challenge. So might be a good thing to do. Oh through already, Ben Seger. Oh Ben Come on, son. Uh, going attacking, I'm looking at this, could leave us vulnerable to the counter attack. And uh, I don't want to give away my my unbeaten record in against this this team. I think it's a team we should be beating, and so positive should be good enough. And we, I mean, we look bright. We have looked bright since I um since I got here. It was it was really interesting. <laughs> Gluka scored. Did he volley that or head it? I couldn't. I wasn't really focused. Did he volley that? He's not very good with his head. He headed it. Ben Seguir actually misplaced his shot, and uh, we are a goal up. So all we need to do now is defend like we've been defending. One of the, the interesting things I was going to say is that... Do you remember, guys, when I came here? Um, everybody was, like, really excited about my presence here. The players were excited and the, 
The board was really happy to have me. I'd never won anything except for League One title. I couldn't understand this. Why is it the fans were like up for it? The right choice. And uh, I couldn't understand it. I'd been struggling for two seasons at Notts County and Bournemouth. And suddenly I became the right choice for Juventus. <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> yeah, Langstaff waved me off at the airport. Yeah, unfortunately he couldn't come with us. I remember he didn't have a passport. I think he's offside. Ben Seguir's offside. But not given. We had uh, started well and we've lost the momentum a little bit. Just need to be careful. Always be vigilant. As they te they're looking like they're dominating midfield. And we need to get a hold of ourselves in midfield. Another chance. Another opportunity. And the goalkeeper just put the ball down there. But we're definitely looking like we are the better team at this point in time. Penalty referee. We do get a lot of penalties, don't we? And that's because we're getting bodies in the box. And it's the same with my other save. If you get bodies in the box, you'll get penalties. And I did say that, I think, yesterday. I was reminiscing about how Manchester United, in the old days, for, under Fergie, were accused of getting too many penalties and everybody thought oh, the referees are supporting you and it wasn't if you get people in the box eventually you're going to get penalties and man united in those days were getting like six seven players in the box dribbling and you're going to get penalties not so good anymore which is why we don't get many penalties these days but uh, oh, sometimes it's nice to reminisce about the good old days. I, I'm i not really happy with this performance at the moment. Something's not right in midfield here. And I'm trying to figure out where is... Like, I've got this geezer. I'm just noticing that. He's, sit, he's right next to the centre-back. And I've got this other guy who's right next to the left winger. They should be both closer together. And they that's why we're being dominated in midfield. There's a big hole here. So I want to have a look at this. Oh, that could be it. I'll just push the line up to try and deal with that. To see if we can close that big hole that is in... In the middle there. And we're 2-0 up and you probably thought it was quite strange. <laughs> that, uh, I was saying I'm not happy. But I just felt that they were dominating that midfield space. And even though we're 2-0 up, we could become 2-2. Two -two if we're not careful. And we're in again. Come on, make it 3-0. Three. Three He's given him offside again. It's, and that was his hat trick. That would have been his hat trick. He was offside though. The linesman's flag went up straight away. That's an offside. Yeah. The, I don't think the refs were scared of Fergie. I think that if, like, there were other teams who got a lot of penalties, and, and there's a lot of teams who've had that accusation. Liverpool had the accusation a couple of seasons ago that the refs were supporting them. But Liverpool were getting so many bodies in the box and they were counter-attacking at speed defenders were making mistakes and that's why they were getting penalties oh that was almost three I want has Glock got two Glock has got two hasn't he so I want him to get his hat trick put the DLP on support yeah I'm going to check their positioning. It's a good idea, Potato, just to push him up the pitch a little bit. But I'm going to check the positioning in in a little while. I think we're comfortable at the back. And as long as they don't start punting balls over the top. The pitch isn't long. 
So we should be comfortable at the back. And I'll check the positioning again as we get to around about 35 minutes. But I feel already that we've got more bodies in midfield and that we're looking better already. Sometimes um, those, if you don't spot those things, they can cost you the game. He's still not, he's still not moving up. So you're probably right. That would be the next thing to do. Is to put him on a support, support duty. I want him to try and push up and fill this space. I thought closing the lines up would do it, but it hasn't. At least not yet. So let's try him on a support. It's a good call, Potato, a very good call, but it, there's always little things that you can do to close the lines. I mean, there's no need to panic. We are 2-0 up. But if, they, if you don't address that, Gap, it could cost you the game. Let's get Gluck his hat trick. I think he deserves it. He's had one disallowed. Penalty again, ref. Is it another penalty? Or is he given a free kick this time? Come on, Ben Sagir. Oh. And the run looks, to me, we look fairly solid. What's happening in turn... Oh, ninth. Villarreal and At Atalanta. It's too many games to go through. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Villarreal are... It's too many games to look through. It'll take me forever to find them. We'll just uh, see what happens. We've lost the match momentum a little bit. Which is always worth keeping an eye on. But if we can get another goal, it's good night, ladies. They're pretty much done. And, and that's a good sign that he picked up the second ball. So you're probably right there, Potato, in that he's now further up the pitch. Oh, referee, was that a penalty as well? Referee. we I mean, the best thing about it is they haven't created a chance yet. Oh, the commentator's curse coming up here. And they haven't actually had a shot on goal, let alone on target. Good evening, Grafting. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Zhao. Good to good to meet you. Do I play FM24 online? Do you mean in like a, a kind of like a network save? Is that what you're talking about, Zhao? I have thought about it. Um, I, want, I think a, a network save would be fun. I did think about doing a senior citizens <laughs> network save. Um... And there are a few YouTubers out there who are in their golden years, as it was described earlier. Um, but I never got round to it. Like, this YouTube keeps you so busy. Um, so, at the moment, it's something that I would definitely be considering. I'd love to um, do you offline. You mean offline? How do you do an online save offline? <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure what you mean, Zhao. Do I have my own personal save offline? No, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. Um, and when I do get 20 minutes, I just like to just lie down <laughs> and do nothing. Um, so... Off offline my own save now I don't have time I would love to do a network save if I could get um, good reliable people because you need to be reliable um, involved then I would love to do one it would be such fun I think 
and certainly would test me because all I ever play against is the computer and playing against other humans would be a really good challenge. Oh, it's Gluck! And what a way to get your hat trick. What a strike that was. An absolute worldie. He just says, pick the bones out of that. <laughs> he just wrapped his foot round that and said, let's go and get a hat trick here. Oh, boy. <laughs> what a strike that was. And, uh, yeah, who needs my four key players? <laughs> we don't need them. We'll just manage the team to victory. And Moretti fancies his chances now as well. I, I'm i struggling to believe this is happening. I'm really struggling to believe it's happening. But it, it just feels so much better for me having some control over what's going on on the pitch. We won six. At least, Andy. At least. In, in, go, go. What a chance. If he could have sneaked that across the six-yard box, we'd have scored again. 3-0, though. And I, they really haven't been any bother at all. And I'm going to say I'm happy with how we've dominated possession. We have. We've just totally kept them out of the game. Let's have more of the same. They've made a few subs. So i better go and check with my assistant. Do I need to do anything? And he says yes. So luckily we checked. And uh, I've got like boys like Ben Sagir who's come in now for Chiesa, having a very, very good game. I've still got players who can come in midfield and play really well. Yeah, I want my key players back. But I still think we're we're good enough. And we are just ripping them apart now. And that was so unlucky. Should have scored. I'd have scored there. And um, I have to remember that even McKinney is playing very well. He likes that wide midfielder role. He doesn't like playing as a winger. He gets himself isolated. He gets, he gets excited. But he's playing really well as that... That's that wide midfielder. Need to designate who will get the next hat trick. <laughs> I'm absolutely in my mind. Whilst you're all saying we want six, in my mind, I'm thinking let's close the game down now. We don't need to do anything now. It's up to them to try and win it. So I also like getting clean sheets. <laughs> and uh, a 3-0 victory will be very nice. And, I, and I'm getting them to trigger press a lot. Oh, my Lord, that was close. I'm getting them to trigger press a lot. And so I don't want to wear them out. So I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, let's close the game down. Let's, let's consider this job done. I don't think I will close it down until about 70 minutes. So we got some time to get there. And we're just marauding all over him now. McKinney, brilliant ball. And that's got to be a penalty, referee. Just a corner. It's a stone wall penalty, that was. They're all over the place now. They are a team who are struggling in this competition and quite rightly we should be winning this. But they're not tired and that's a good thing because they really haven't been pushed to any level in this game so they're not getting tired. So we can continue to do what we're doing for a little while. Sorting out that big hole was um, important. Thank you, Potato, for your input on that. 
was a very big hole. And we might have to play him on support constantly because I don't want that hole appearing again. And definitely in FM24, a much higher line is really overpowered. If you've got some pace at the back, play with a much higher line. It's so overpowered. It's taken me a while to find that out, but both my saves are going extremely well. I'm in both of them, I'm playing a much higher line. And I think I've played, over the two saves... 25 games and I've and I'm yet to lose <laughs> and there it is McKenney has repaid me for letting him play as a wide midfielder it's 4-0 <laughs> very very nice and that, again, I got him to cut inside as well. He likes to do that kind of thing. Whereas he, um, Luz likes to play as a winger. So I have to remember from now on that they're different players. And they have different tastes. Come on, let's get five then. Let's put this to bed. McKenney hat trick. <laughs> we just I mean this is one of those games where it's just so easy to take your eye off the game because it's so comfortable but I'm not going to do that and we are we are looking okay at the back but they've got one two three four six players marauding forward i'm going to go back to a more balanced way of playing now they are counter-attacking now go on son oh you should have hit it you did last time and it went in but you didn't so they've got a three on two again here so this isn't pleasing me So they are counter-attacking, and I want to try and figure out what I can do about that. So we'll make him a support. He's already on support. And one of them needs to be on cover. And I think that should probably sort it out. I'm now going to put my... DLP back on defend duty. I don't care about the gap now. I just want them to defend. I want that clean sheet. And Gluck is off again. Chance. Lovely pass. Oh, I thought that was going to be McKenney second. And then he would have been on a hat trick as well. This is absolutely outrageous how this is working out. I've never known FM be so nice to me. Apart from the injuries, of course. Especially as the rotten form that I was having with Bournemouth. We just turned them around after I went comprehensive with Bournemouth. We turned them around for five games. And then they, that's when Juventus came headhunting. Go on, Moretti. Oh, nearly an own goal. But this team, whoever they are, I think they're Maccabi, aren't they? They just don't look in the same ballpark as us. Just starting to spray it around now. I think it's time to slow things down a little bit now. Just take your time, boys. No rush. I'll take a 5 nil. I'll be happy. You'll have a happy manager with a 5 nil. <laughs> you have a happy manager with a 4 nil. <laughs> uh, time to make some changes as well now. Just wait this corner out. 
And then once the old what's it pops up, the iPad pops up, we'll make some changes. Well done, well done, boys. We're a bit more, they're not counter-attacking now in the same way as they were a few minutes ago. Just put the full back on support and slow everything down. That's how we do that. Right, let's make some changes. Let's rest some of these boys. Lanelli probably could do with a rest. I must have a young boy who can play on that on that right side. Cambiasso can play, but he's not a young boy. Eriro. Let's give him a run out. He's allegedly going to be a good player. Let's give him a chance. And one of these centre-backs needs a rest. Uh, which one? Who's the oldest? Who's the oldest? Bremer is 30. Aiello's a young kid. So we will bring on... Give Bremer some time off. Locatelli hasn't played for a while, or Moretti. Ben Seguir, Malero and Gluck. Mikel can come on up front. And we'll leave it at that for now, and we'll wait to see who gets particularly tired. Ooh, he went on a sprint there. There's still some serious glitches in this game. I do want to go to my assistant and say anything I need to do. Got chat. Come on, make it five. No, McKinney was on the near post there. He wants goals today, that McKinney. Come on, boys. Come on, we got this. Let's go... Let's go for them. I love getting clean sheets. That's what I, I close the game down faster than most players of this game. But I just love clean sheets. Not easy to get in FM. Harder to get clean sheets than it is to score. He's quite deep, isn't he, at the moment? And he's not on cover. That's a poor pass. And this now should tell us whether we've got the counter-attack covered. Yeah, we've got bodies back now. Well done. Oof. Good save. Good save. I need to. I need to shout at them. Let's let's get more. You're going off the boil again. Making me do some work. Probably not going to be too happy with that, but I don't want people stopping after 72 minutes or whatever. I pay you to play for 90 minutes. I'd be a terrible manager in real life. All my players would hate me. <laughs> Oi! You're not played for 70 minutes. You're paid for 90 minutes, sunshine. I want 90 minutes out of you. Why are they ta time wasting? It doesn't make any sense. Unless they're hoping my team falls asleep. Oh, referee. He just took him out. Red card. Looking at our heat map, we're a little bit too wide on the right. But that's because McKinney doesn't quite know what he's doing out there. But I just check the right full back. Uh, he's run wide with the ball. That's probably why we're a bit wide on the right. But as an attacking player, I want him to do that. We're in again. Oh. Moretti. Moretti's had a very good game. Ben Seguir, fantastic game. McKenney, excellent game. 
and I'm pretty sure this fifth goal has to come. We've got to get the fifth. It just looks so much like it's got to come. McKenney again. Oh, nice pass. Locatelli. Go on, hit it. Hit it. Oh, good save. I've still got two more subs to make, so maybe the midfielders can get a rest. I don't think the other two here need a rest. They haven't played for a while. Oh, nice pass. Go on, you're in, son. Show us what you can do. Not much. <laughs> he is apparently a very, very good young fullback, and maybe I should play him a little bit more. Bring him off the bench, see what he can do. He's got a lot of potential, apparently. So do we take off now? I, I just tempted to give Moretti the two. Um, Fagioli can come on for Locatelli. Have I got a young? Oh, I got Zalazar, haven't I? That'll do. That'll do for the subs. That's just. Make sure we're controlling the middle of the park. We've totally taken them apart. Looking at the stats, looking at the match momentum, looking at the heat maps and positions on the pitch, we have taken them apart. They've really just not been in the game. As you'd expect from a team in, what were they, 31st in the table... They're not in the same ballpark. And so this run keeps going. But I do want to see the table. See what's happened with the with the table. What's going on here? Oh, we're still in ninth. It's going to make us finish in ninth, isn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. So we will have to play in the playoff round. The boys have done their job, but unfortunately, unfortunately, the game's got other ideas. We've done what we need to do. And I still want this clean sheet, so it is probably time to shut the game down. Good attack is built on a good defensive foundation. So let's start shutting this game down. There's not much more I can do, actually, in terms of shutting it down. Just come off the counter-attack, slow it down. And we're going to come back to a mid-block now. Come off that a little bit. Get more bodies behind the ball and see it out. They ain't going to score five now, that's for sure. Oh, ho, 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 Salazar! There's the fifth. I wanted five. There's the fifth. And what a strike that was. We've seen two delicious strikes in this game. One from Gluck, now one from Salazar. What a little curler that was. Lovely shot into the corner. 5-0. We're bringing the crowds back. If you remember the last game of the last episode, we had about 9,000 in. So we're bringing the crowds back. <coughs> the fans are starting to think, hey, Juventus could do something this season. And I think, give it a minute or so and we'll go defensive. We'll shut the shop up. Oh, 
And we'll say to them, that's it, that's your lot. This guy, Hui Sun, he, sh he deserves more game time as well. He looks very composed when he's on the ball. He's just young. But he does look composed when he's on the ball. Well, that was a bad tackle. But at least we picked up the rebound. Can we make it six? Come on. Come on, we got it in us. Let's make it six. Nice and gentle. Gently, gently. Not with that, we're not. <laughs> what sort of a cross was that? Still going. Sometimes I, I get confused with FM because the highlights don't link properly. <laughs> How did we get there? No, that's better. It, oh, not tall, not tall enough, are you? Five nil. I'll take that. It's just a shame that we're going to finish in ninth. But when we took over, uh, we were in, a, again, it was like 16th, wasn't it, when, before we played our first European game? And it didn't look like we were, didn't look like we were going, didn't look like we were going to qualify at that point. So we've turned it around. So ninth will be a good performance. Just got to try and win that playoff. That's it, boys. Just sit back now. Slow everything down. I'll pull you back a little bit so that they're not catching you out with those long balls. And that's it. Full time. 5-0. And this Juventus recovery keeps going on. We got the result we wanted, but we didn't get into the top eight. What a shame, but we gave it our best shot. We'll have to play in the playoffs now instead. We could we could win the playoff. Look fantastic. I have to remember as well that uh, I have to remember that um, McKenney doesn't want to play as a winger. Um, have I got any of these boys coming back yet? Five of them now. Lus should be only out for a day, so he should be back. Rabio, two days, he should be back. Dusan, three weeks, three weeks, two to eight days. So they will come back slowly. But don't do it again, FM. You tried it and it didn't work, did it? Uh, oh, we got to rest them again, haven't we? Games are coming thick and fast. So we can go and rest them for a day. Stay home, boys. Enjoy. Play football manager at home. Take the day off. No training. So, first two games. Tonight we have won 4-1. And we've won 5-0. I'm struggling with this. Yiddish. Let's give some of these boys some game time. Hassa. Cambiasso, no. I need him. Tabuoka, yeah, he can play for 90 minutes. Palacios, yes. Kapalat, yes. Mikel, yes. Let's give them some game time. The other two are injured, so no. What a turnaround for Juventus. We've now gone 13 games unbeaten. Absolute turnaround, this is. Bologna. Could we win this? Can we win this game? Zik Zerxi. Zerxi is a good player. 
and Orsolini. Xerxi and Orsolini. I'm going to write that down because I'll never remember those two names. Xerxi. Orsolina. So they could be problem down the right hand side. Xerxi. DLF. Got two playmakers, one playmaker here, and probably you've got a centre mid who's going to be running past this boy, and then yeah, they're going to be quite dangerous actually. That's a nice little setup that they've got. So this won't be easy, but they don't have anything that really worries me too much. They don't have pace. Their dribbling is poor. We need to play with a higher line. We need to take the game to them. We'll probably yeah, start balanced, but we'll push up the line up because that works. If they haven't got pace, we have at the back. We'll start with a higher tempo. We are at home. We should be playing positively. Not too shabby at all, Andy. Not too shabby. Nine goals for, only one against. Not too shabby at all. And actually, they're making the management side of it, the in-game management side of it. At the moment, they're making it relatively easy. I don't... I'm not having to think too hard. And I can generally see what the what is going wrong, but that will change over time because no manager can can keep this going, not in FM. No, we're not playing Danilo as a center back. I know you fancy it, but Igrashi, uh, Igrashi Fagioli Lus can come back. I, I want to keep McKinney in the team. Um, although Lus has been playing well, he is my first team player. But McKinney's been doing a really good job. So I'm reluctant to take him out. We shall see. Um, centre mid can go on support. Just get him closer to... For now, at least. Some Lus Igrashi. I will give Igrashi a game. And Locatelli. No, I don't want to play Locatelli. He's a DLP. Moretti. We'll give him another chance. He didn't play particularly well in the last game, but we'll give him another shot. He was the man when we started off, but he's gone a bit off the boil. Rabio should be back. Very he so he can sit on the bench, that's good news. And then Hassa and Palacios can come on the bench as well. Now only got three injured. So it looks a bit better. I think I would like to give Hushan a start, but I'm not quite sure that he's ready for starts. He looks good when he comes on. I'm not quite sure he's actually ready to start games yet. We'll give him, we'll stay with the two we've got, but I might be making a mistake. Bensiger on the verge of assists landmark. Seven assists. The existing record is held is ten. Oh, he's got plenty of time. He's got plenty of time, and we'll keep him in, actually. I quite like how he's doing. I might, as I said before, I might think about, at the end of the season, buying Ben Sagir. 18 mil. I think he's a good signing for 18 mil. To land Juventus Fagioli. 49.5 million. Not on my watch, you're not. Not on my watch. 31 has plenty of time on his contract. But we can we can deal with that as the transfer window is about to close. I want my own signing coming in. How's that? How's that? 
transfer going. We're still waiting for Zanoli to make his mind up. So I, until he does, I don't know how much money I've got left. Because his, his wage is quite high as well. It's going to be deadline day nonsense again, isn't it? Oh, but he's all right. He did actually quite well. He's a very decent player, apparently. He's got five-star potential. I like his mentals are good. He's, he's got a bit of development to do, but my coaches are saying five-star potential, this boy. So he deserves a little bit more game time. I'm wondering, should I start Hoysan? Just give Bremer a rest. I think that's actually... Let's take a gamble. Let's see if he is ready to start. We need to put him on cover. Let's see if he's ready to start a game. It won't be good to lose it. Because if we can win this, we can jump up even as high as fourth. But I want to try him. Oof. Expectations are high. Paladino. Well, he's okay, isn't he? He's got development to do. How much has he paid for him? I don't have that kind of money. I've just spent how much on... Zanoli has cost me 7.75. How much is he going to cost? Well, we probably could do it. Could probably could do it. Milan stall over Palladino. That's interesting. I, I would have said go ahead with it, but if he wants to stall, oh, they've rejected the bid anyway. It depends. I might still make a bid for him, transfer window day. So find out who is he, Paladino. Let's put him on the short list. I might still go for him on, if I've got enough money and enough time, one year. If I've got enough money and enough time, because he looks like a decent young prospect, that boy. And we are a bit short at centre-back. So let's have a good result now against Bologna, and then I'll be a very happy manager for tonight's episode. A very, very happy manager. Come on, boys. If we win this... Oh, no, we can't. We can't go above Torino now because they must have won. And now Torino have started to slip. So Inter and Torino have slipped and Fiorentina have gone top. Uh, yeah, we should go a little bit more positive. I don't want to tackle harder. I've seen what happens live when you do that and somebody goes and gets sent off. And um, last night... We got somebody sent off in the cup final and the last 30 minutes I had to hold on against a team who really battered us. I had to hold on and to win that trophy. Boy, was that a game. So I don't want them to get stuck in. I can always have a look and if it's not working, we can always do it later. We don't need to do it now. Still got people injured. Four days. Pirola. He's nearly back, though. Nearly back. Right. This is a team that's good enough to win this. Well, yeah, because you've injured all my players. That's why I've only selected that amount <laughs> of substitutes. Bring, Give me my players back, and we'll have put more subs on the bench. <laughs> Uh, carry your last performance. We will do well. You will, boys. 
Let's get out there. And show Bologna who are the boss here. It's all going to go wrong at some point, And I've got to be prepared for that. But as long as I keep focused, I might find when it's going to go wrong. I've made a couple of changes that I maybe shouldn't have, like Danilo and Husson. But we've got to try these boys. And they have scored. Well, 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 well. Is looking for offside the referee's having a look for offside, is he? But I think that's a good goal. I don't think he's offside there. It is awarded. It looked like a good goal to me, and that's shabby. And that was Danilo who put him on side. And so we're not too too happy about the start, but there is time. Is this where our 100% record, where our unbeaten record is going to go? Hopefully not. There's plenty of time left. And we've got goals in us this day. Oh, come on, referee. Not even going to book him for that. We've got this. Come on. Focus, boys. Oh, another foul in the penalty area there. What's going on here, ref? Put your spectacles on. Is this because of the... No, they just scored from a set piece, that's all. It's nothing I can do about a set piece. They're just 50-50. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. I'm not too happy about my goalkeeper doing that. So I might tell him to play it out from the back. Yeah, they, they're actually passing it around our press e really easily I was just wondering if I was on a counter press but we've had a very poor start I have to shout at them and demand more this is not acceptable it doesn't seem to be much wrong in terms of Let's push him up to a support. Oh, come on, referee. Just put it just pushed him over. We're in trouble at the moment. We've got to figure this out really quickly. This could be where it all goes wrong, unless I can find what's wrong here. Gluck seven an awful game, six point four. I'm going to tell them to slow things down now while I try and figure out what is actually wrong. Just slow down. We need more of the ball. The line's good. It could be the selection that I did. It could be that the two players I brought in at the back are not that was not the right decision. Could be just as simple as that. I'm looking at Hoyson. He's on a six point eight. He's not letting me down. It's up front. It's like players up front are really poor at the moment. So slowing it down might help them. Malay, Rowe, Sigir and Gluck are not good at the moment. Offside, you took your time there, referee. We've got the momentum now. Maybe it was just slowing everything down that needed to happen. 
Yeah, I just thinking about that. I can't see anything, Yellen. Um, nothing seems to look out of place to me. It's possibly that the tempo was wrong. We seem to have fixed the tempo and we've got much more of the of the ball now. Our position on the pitch is good. They are sitting back. My left back is quite low on the pitch. He probably needs to come up a little bit. Go on, hit it, hit it. But it could be that his positioning is just that early on he got pushed back. So we've recovered now just by slowing it down. Go on, you're in. Oh. These boys up front are letting me down. They need a shout. Both of them. But we've certainly got all the game now. So I don't think there's any need to panic at this point. And maybe we need to start pressurising them a little bit more. We'll leave that to the second half, try and get them to make mistakes. Good defending. Uh, he's changed his mind about his instructions as well. Well done. What's he given there? Have a closer look. Has he given a penalty? He's going off to his tally. I think he's given a penalty, has he? I'll be cheesed off if this is penalty because I never get these. It always comes back no penalty. I didn't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> see, the opposition, when he goes to look at the box, they get a penalty. I never get those decisions. It always comes back, no penalty. So now we're in big trouble. And Hushon now is having a poor game. So I, I, those decisions I made were wrong. It was wrong to play him. I did say early on he wasn't probably ready. Good coming on as a sub, but he's not ready to start. And he probably gave away the penalties on a 6.4 now. Focus, boy. 6.3 for Gluck. It's pretty poor. It's a couple of substitutions coming up at half time. I'm going to put my left fullback on attack. I've got to try and take this game to them. They're having just a little bit the comfortable ride at the moment. And I'm going to put pressure on them as well. So we're going to counter press them. It's coming to an end. And I'm going to just drop the line back a little bit. Shaulus, 6.4. I should have stayed with my original decision. McKinney was playing well. Didn't deserve to be dropped. Let's get a go back before half time. I'll feel a lot better, boys. Can't shout at them yet. This is not looking good. This is just Bologna. We should be blasting these away. What's happened to you, boys? I can't see what's wrong. Cannot see it. This fullback is being pushed back, isn't he? So the right winger... Hmm. 
I'm going to just take the chance and say tight mark him. I don't think it's a good plan because it will push my put the pressure on the fullback who I've just said attack. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I mean, are they going to get a card here? Come on, referee. What's going on here? It might be wise to go back to balanced as well. And then we'll have a look. The left... Who's Orsolini is also having a very good game. But he's already should be tight marked. Well, we certainly put paid to him. <laughs> it is Orsolini who was causing the problem. So we'll tight mark him. And I think, yeah, we're just giving them too much ground by playing positive. We've underestimated them a little bit. Just hasn't worked out today. Sometimes that happens. What's the goalkeeper doing? <laughs> Just decided to have a lie down. Come on, boys. Come on. 2 0. We're not out of it. We've just got to stay in it now at 2 0. Go on, Lus. Go on. Inside. Let's get a go back before. That's a terrible pass. Inside. Come on. Again. I like, why are we not getting these and the opposition are getting them? <laughs> Football managers grumbles. Why do the opposition get penalties and I'm not getting them? <laughs> so this is a rollicking time. I'm not angry. I'm just really disappointed. Your defensive performance has been unacceptable. Look at this. 6.2, 6.4. Attackers, you've not been good enough. Midfielders, I'm not happy at all with you. So you've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes, boys. Gluck, I think, needs to come off. For 6.2, he's never going to recover. But I don't have anyone that I can play since they took Dusan off me. Chiesa's still injured. So he's he's all I've got. So I want to tell him anyway to ease off the tackles in case he gets aggressive. Uh, Lus is having a terrible game and he's tired. And McKenney played a lot better than him. And maybe he should cut inside again. Dribble less. Du, du, du. At some point, I'm going to have to go attacking. Husan has not played very well either. It's just been really poor. I made some poor decisions, I think, at the beginning of the match. The, the attacking one, possibly, yeah. Um... The attacking decision was poor. The two defenders. Danilo, though, has done okay, but Hussan has not been able to cut it. Oh. If we are right, maybe we can get in behind them. They're cocky now, so maybe we can get in behind them. Let's up this a little bit. Just need to get one back, and then we're back in the game. But that's not the result I wanted. 
and how's that done the table probably still in sixth but that is not the result that I wanted today but at least the game has got its way now because it injured so many of my players it wanted this to happen but I can still work this out Carlson probably needs a hard tackle. Well done, goalkeeper. Carlson. Hard tackle him. We'll go a little bit longer. See if we can just sneak in behind them. I want my DLP. to play more direct passes as well so I've got two youngsters at the back there that probably hasn't helped two very young boys at the back who Sean needs to come off in a minute he's just not cutting it and they're going to score again oh Bremer needs to go on there. He's just not cutting it, that boy. It was a gamble. I didn't think he was ready yet. And he's just shown he's not ready. He will be a good player. But he's definitely not ready. Gluck has improved a little bit. We'll give him another five minutes. Still in six, though. He's improved a tiny bit, but not a lot. Come on, boys. Come on. One goal, and we're back in this. Nice, nice. Get it into the box now. Into the box. Come on, come on. One good strike. Where are those good strikes that we had just a few moments ago? I've got to be careful with subs now, haven't I? Because I need to make all my subs in the next interruption. Uh, they've, they've all just played badly. They've all just played horribly. Looks last chance. See if he can't get him behind. And we'll put the winger on attack. Got to try something. Maybe it is time to go direct. They're not deep. And we'll go attacking in a moment. And go direct. They're in again. Oh, Defensively, we've been so shabby. Absolutely shabby. Right, Gluck's gone backwards again. I've got to make my subs now and make my final gamble. I've never seen such a bad performance from this team, but like I said, you can't keep it going forever. Right, sub time. So, Danilo's doing okay. Both of those are doing okay now. Locatelli is doing okay. Moretti is doing okay. These two are the Herberts. 
Malero, but I don't have anybody who can play up there. It's really, it's really tough. Salazar can play as an attacking mid. He can actually play on the left as well, if I've got another attacking mid. Fagioli can play as an attacking mid. And now we got to go attacking. So he needs to be attacking. Fullbacks can stay on attack. We'll put the centre mid on attack. DLP on support, on defend. So we got a ton of attacking going on here. And we will push the line up. We're going to counter, counter, press, distribute quickly. I'm going to push these boys. Higher tempo. Get rid of that now. Be more expressive. Don't want that. Just be a bit wider. I have to make one more sub, don't I? Because I've used up... Yeah, I need to make that sub now. One of the midfielders, Locatelli, Moretti. Let's bring Rabio on. That's it. Let's go for it. Let's go for the jugular. This is the final gamble. Take the game to them. Get rid of the rubbish off the pitch and take the game to them now. Come on, we can still get a draw out of this. Just need to get one in. That's all we need. Ah, uh, Gluck, though, has let me down. But I can't take him off. I don't have anyone else who can play up there now. Until I get one of the two forwards back. I'm going to just fire him up, I think. Get on with it, son. Like, he got a hat trick in the last game. And he's played like an absolute poodle in this one. <laughs> Such is FM. <laughs> what a nutter. Come on, come on, boys. We got this. We can still get a draw here. I can't throw any more bodies forward. I've got, like, seven players forward. I can't throw any more bodies forward. Now we're in. Now we got a chance. McKinney. Oh, it's going to be that. That shows me it's going to be one of those days. If you can't put that one away, it's not going to happen. The game for a moment doesn't like me. <laughs> and it's not going to allow me, even though I think I've worked this out. Go on, son, you're in. Come on. Well, I've given it all I've got. I can't think of anything else. No, we don't want to do that. We're not creating anything spectacular from it. See? It'll just slow the game down, and I don't want to slow the game down at the moment. I want to speed it up. And we're in again. Gluck, this is your chance to do something offside. That's what you're going to do. He's on a 6.1 now. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't have anyone who can play and I can't substitute. i got to berate them. They're absolutely shocking. And the last gamble...
to go long. There's not much else I can do. We've tried everything else. He has pace, so he could get in behind them, but he's just had a, such a bad game. We're going to get hammered here. Are we going to get a third? Oh. Oh, painful way to lose the unbeaten record. We'll come back. I can't, I mean, I'll just throw everybody forward now. I'll just get everybody forward for the last few minutes. If I could put my central defenders on attack, I would. Uh, it's just not going to be our day, is it? We've had really good chances. They just haven't taken them. I mean, I've done what I can to create chances for them, but if they don't take them... And Gluck... Well, I don't know what to say. After praising him for his hat-trick, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. Oh, I wanted to hold on to my unbeaten run, but it's not going to be. Eventually, it was going to come to an end. It's <laughs> a long punt. And it didn't come to anything. That's it. We've been beaten. We have finally been beaten. And I, I'm embarrassed. Look, 6. 6.4. 6.3. 6 6.4. 6.3. Absolutely dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. That's the way it goes. Like, I I know I made poor decisions at the beginning. Going, perhaps I should have just settled into the game balanced. And they perhaps shouldn't have put those two young centre-backs together. That's probably what caused it. But we did get them to a point where they were creating chances. And then if they don't take them, that's not my fault. Um, Luz is out for a few days. But having my team all injured, my four key players all injured, hasn't helped with that period of the game where fixtures were coming thick and fast. It's been a good run and we've done well to do that, but I'm really disappointed about that result. Very disappointed. We have to pick ourselves up, though, and go to the next one. But we'll do that next time. It's not the way I wanted to end this. We were coasting in the other two games. Torino were a better side than Bologna. How we've lost that, I don't know. Um, so we'll come back. What day is it today? It is Tuesday. We'll come back on Thursday. And we'll have another go at this. And hopefully we can pick up this form <laughs> that we were showing and demonstrating. We're still not a great team. And um, it's not going to be as easy as that was. We're not a very good team and this is going to be difficult. But I still think we can get in the top four. We'll give it our best shot. So thanks guys for coming along. And um, hopefully we'll have a better time next time. We won two and lost one. That's not bad. Um, we will see you all on Thursday. Have a good night, boys. And um, 
Let's say a little prayer. <laughs> we'll be back, though. We'll bounce back. See you later, guys. Thanks for coming.